What's up everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. Today I think we're going to be doing some legendary events or something like that. And it's going to be Giratina, not Giratina, Dialga and Palkia, the other two version mascots. Platinum had Giratina and then Diamond and Pearl of course had Dialga and Palkia. So, anyway, we're flying to Celestic Town real quick because they actually reside at the top of Mount Coronet. And I'm not sure if this is required, but... I know that somewhere I did read that you have to talk to Cynthia's grandma, I'm probably wrong about this, but I am going to go and talk to her anyway just in case. So, hello, you look good, I did some research of my own since that spot of trouble last time. Mount oh, Cornet's acting up had me very concerned too. Well, this is what I found in the shrine, it's a book and it's quite old, let me read it for you. The bearer of the shining adamant orb summons Dialga to the steer pillar. The guardian Pokemon of time will answer the call. The bearer of the shining lustrous orb summons Palkia to the sphere pillar. The Pokemon that binds the spatial dimensions will answer the call. It seems that people of long ago met both Dialga and Palkia, the Pokemon of time and space. Alright, cool. Now that we know that, we actually know that we need the lustrous and Grisius. Not Grisius, Grisius is Giratina's orb. Uh, the Lust. I don't even remember their names, I suck at this. Um, the lustrous and adamant orb. Hope I'm right about that. And then Grisius is for Giratina. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll find out in a bit. But anyway, we're actually heading to Orberg City because we gotta climb up Mount Coronet in order to actually get those orbs and then summon Giratina. God, ah. I'm always gonna confuse that. Uh, summon Dialga and Palkia at Spear Pillar. So, anyway, heading into Mount Coronet here, I'm actually gonna be spraying some repels just so that I don't run into any wild pocket mons. So, we are gonna need Surf, Rock Smash, and I believe Strength. And, um, actually you will need Waterfall as well, so make sure that before you head up here, if you want to get these two Pokemon, make sure you have Waterfall, Rock Smash, Strength, and Surf, and Rock Climb. Damn it, there's a lot of TMs, we need 5 HMs actually, wow. That is quite a lot, so anyway, uh, let me just speed this up because I, I already did all of Mount Coronet, so you guys should know fairly how to get through this if you've already done it before. Uh, just make sure you don't fall in down the ledges. Anyway, make your way down through here, which is where we were once at with Looker, I believe. And uh, as soon as we get to the area where something actually does change, then then we can start worrying about things. What was that weird noise? It's like a it's like a static noise. I don't even know. Oh, there it is again. I don't know what that is. It's like if something's scratching on my roof. Now that I think about it, it's kind of scary, but at the same time, not really. Uh, but anyway, head up here, and there is going to be this cave right here. You want to head in here, because this is actually where we can get the Lustrous and Adamant Orbs. So, we're going to head up this waterfall here. This is why we needed waterfall. So, just go ahead, get up here, and I think you can actually catch a rare Pokemon in this little cave that we are in right now. So, here we got the Adamant Orb, and let's see if I was wrong or right. Is it Lustrous or Grisius? Alright, I was apparently right for once in my in my Pokemon career, something. But anyway, we also have a stone plate on this little rock here, which is, of course, one of the Arceus plates that will turn him into a rock type or whatever, if you have an Arceus, that is. Um, and even if you have an Arceus, I mean, it's not like you ever get a chance to use it. And I don't know. At least in Wi-Fi, I don't think people use Arceus unless you're playing Ubers. And if you're using it other than Ubers, then you're pretty much cheating, buddy. So don't do that. Don't, don't cheat on the Wi-Fi, yo. I don't even know, I don't play Wi-Fi, so I don't know if people just really use uh, Ubers in normal battles, but that's why you don't get random battles on Wi-Fi, because people will just use legendaries, and, and it's pretty stupid. But, uh, anyway, as you all know, there are a lot of events in Pokemon Platinum, and by events, I just mean a lot of legendaries. There, I don't even know how many there are. There's, there's even more in Black and White, now that I think about it, and there's even more in Black and White, too, so each game just stacks legendaries upon each other. But this game, I think, has like 20 of them, I don't even know. Um, but there is Regigigas as well as the Regis. There's also some roaming Pokemon, including uh, the three legendary birds, Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. I said them in the wrong order. It's Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, because they're 1, 2, 3 in Spanish. And uh, if you didn't know that, then you probably just got brain... brain farted. Arctic Uno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Yeah, there you go. So now you know a random quickie fact that a lot of people already knew, but if you didn't know it, then now you know. Because it's my super short show once again. So anyway, we got a TM02 Dragon Claw. I just took a little bit of a detour, as well as I believe 
Yeah, I actually found this nugget on accident and I remembered fortunately, but uh, there's a TM2 which is Dragon Claw there and a nugget. I totally forgot to buy balls for catching the legendaries, so hopefully we can do it anyway. I don't even know if I'll be able to, but um, last time I actually managed to catch, or when I did the, I don't know, I, I couldn't say really practice, but when I ran through this earlier, you know, trying to figure out where exactly I'm supposed to go and what's the easiest route to get there, um, I did try to catch the Alga and it wasn't too difficult, so hopefully it's the same this time around. Anyway, um, like I said, there's a lot of legendaries, so I really just want to know, like, what order would you guys like me to do them, and which ones would you like me to do, because roaming Pokemon, I could activate the event, but honestly, I'm not gonna, like, try looking for them, because I wouldn't be able to catch them anyway, I really suck at it. Um, I don't have any Pokemon with block or mean look or anything like that, so it would really suck to have to look for the legendaries that are roaming. Um, I know Mesprit's roaming around already, and uh, Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres are roaming if you actually activate the event. But anyway, here in Spear Pillar, if you have one of the orbs, you will actually see one of these things. Um, I don't know if it's always Palkia first and then the Alga, but at least for me, both times it's been Palkia first. So, on the other side of the rift, in a fantastically bizarre place, it's the Alga. Will you challenge the Alga? Alright. I said it backwards. I always confuse these two. This one is Dialga, the one that stands on four legs, is Dialga. I always say them backwards. I thought this was Palkia, but I don't even know. Anyway, we're fighting Dialga. It's a steel and dragon type, which means that I can't do anything to it. So I'm just going to go for some ice punchies, and those are going to be neutrally effective because, because yeah, it's half steel type. So, yep, I'm going to go try and whittle it down as much as I can. This thing uh, has Roar of Time as its signature move. Uh, Dialga will have Spatial Rend, so, oh, damn it, set it backwards. Dialga has Roar of Time, that's this one, and then Palkia has, um, Spatial Rend, I think it's called. Those are their, their nice, uh, specialty moves. So anyway, all I've got for balls right now are, I don't, what do I have, actually? I have Great Balls, Nest Ball, Luxury Ball, Dust Ball, Timer Ball. Let's just go for some Great Balls and see if we can catch it with that. I don't even know, I'm just gonna keep on tossing balls and maybe... Maybe I'll catch it eventually. With this master ball, I'd catch you, baby. Oh, wow. I, I apparently almost caught it. I only have two great balls. Okay, one left. So I don't think this is going too well. Let's go for nest ball. Nope, not gonna... Nope, that's not gonna work. Luxury ball, maybe? Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. Well, uh... Yeah, we caught Dialga, the master of time. Cool. Didn't think I would actually catch this thing, but uh, that seems to be pretty great. An overwhelming feeling of the time powerfully emanates from this rift. Where does it lead to? But yeah, you actually have to exit and uh, come back in. That's I, I tried to not make it sound weird, but it sounded weird anyway. So anyway, you gotta exit and go back to Spear Pillar. I guess that sounds better. And uh, then the other one will actually be activated, but I'm gonna save because I actually want to try to catch this thing. On the other side of the rift, in a fantastically bizarre place, it's Palkia! We will challenge it. Why do I make these sounds? I don't know what's wrong with me, but... Alright, we got Dialga up next. God! It's Palkia! Stop! Please, just for once. I, I hope that for once I can get this right. So anyway, it's a dragon and uh, water type, so I don't even know what I'm going to use against it, but it likes to use Slash just like... The Alga finally said it right. It likes to use Slash a lot, and then of course it's got a signature move, which is Spatial Rend. I don't even know what what type that is, but uh, we're gonna use some Shadow Balls on it. There it is, Spatial Rend. What typing is that? I hope it's not super effective against me, even though it probably will be. Ooh man, look at that! It's neutral effective. I don't even know what type it is though. Still don't know. But anyway, uh, we're gonna go for some Shadow Balls. Maybe get a Critical or something. I don't even know. Hopefully it keeps using Slash, because... Okay, never mind, you're, you're not that stupid. Because, um, if he kept using Slash, I would have actually been able to... Whoa. Well, that did a lot of damage there. Uh, I'm gonna have to revive Cool Whip, because I will probably need Cool Whip to actually take care of this thing for me. Oh god, I just pressed Escape on accident. Um, so this thing is actually being hurt by Sandstorm, unlike the other ones, so I'm gonna just try to catch it right now. Dusk Ball, go! Alright, doesn't appear to be caught. So, uh, dive ball, go! Oh no, this worked last time, come on. Uh, we only got a few balls left. Timer ball, go! Oh, well, oh, look at that! 
Oh man, looks like I'm the best at this. I I thought I sucked. I I suck in black. No, th it was this game. I sucked at catching Mesprit, Uxie, and Azulf. How come these things are being caught so easily? I guess it's all up to luck in the end. But there we go. We caught the space Pokemon, and now we transfer it into a PC box thing, and it just says the same thing. So there you go. Let's actually exit this place and uh, get back in, and we'll see. That there isn't actually anything here anymore. I don't think there will be at least. I, I'm not too certain. Um, I know that you actually can catch Arceus here, but we don't have the the event for that. You actually need some action replay codes right now because... Really? You can't fly out of here? Okay, well, if you actually head back to where we got TM02 Dragon Claw thing, there is an exit that you can take, which is a lot easier. Or if you actually head to the little snowy area, you can also fly from there. So that's what I did. Anyway, that is it for this episode, guys. Like I said, if you want to suggest what legendaries to do next up, uh, there's Regigigas, Cresselia, and Darkrai. Um, oh, uh, yeah, Regigigas, obviously, with Regirock, Rock, Regi Steel, and Regi Ice, which you also need an event for. There's Shaman. Um, I don't even know what else there is, but I'm sure that you guys might know, so just suggest which one I should do next, and that is what we'll do next episode. See you guys then.